Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Netchook Arts, part three, the final installment of those uh, print works that I had taken some mono prints and reworked them into 2018. So this is part three and the final part of that series. All right, so let's get right to it, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> this one reworked. If you recall last video, I mentioned that the uh, influence of growing up and attending Catholic school and the influence that being in Catholic churches had on me. Here we go. This is called Sin Titulo. It's actually named Untitled. <laughs> okay, one of one, a unique work, mixed media. As I was saying, you may recall that I mentioned attending Catholic school and attending one million and one church services in Catholic churches and the iconography growing on me. There's a bit of a reflection here in, now, as with, uh, I think, any good abstract work, you don't have to see what the artist sees. But sometimes the artist will reveal to you what he or she was thinking when they created the piece. Might not be obvious to you. It doesn't make you wrong, okay? It actually makes you, you of course you're right. That's what you see. Uh, that's your opinion, right? But it, in my opinion, if you see something different than what the artist saw, in my opinion, it enhances the work. Happens to me all the time. People say, I see X, Y, and Z. I didn't see it until they pointed it out to me. And uh, I think it's wonderful because it just adds more life to the artwork. Uh, here, though... Uh, I am hearkening to that iconography. We have a sainted head with a figure, body figure below. It's very faint. I don't want to suggest it or scream it out because that's not what the piece is about. This piece is really just about feeling and color. Untitled. All right. Second one. Here we go. These are uh, reworked. Oil crayon and oil stick on mono prints. And you can see I came back in and played with the color and the composition. Let's bring it up front for you. I really love how when you get up close, you can see all of the beautiful colors working together. All right. If I Were You, title of this one. <laughs> All right. Two more to show you very quickly. Two more. This is also reworked, and I'll just explain a little bit about this title of this work. Sometimes an artist goes into a work, and they know they want what they want to make. They may even have the title already working in their head. Sometimes artists, often, they come to the work, they have no idea what it's going to be what it's going to be about until it starts to take its own form. And um, quite often, I don't know what the title of the work is until I'm finished and I reflect on it a little bit. And that happens here. Here we go. This is reworked, abstract. See what you see. This one is about color and play and visual excitement. No, bring that up close for you. Hope you dig this. How about this title? Do you know that title? This title, Asco. This title is Asco. It's a bit of a throwback 
to Chicano art heroes who came before me that were a collective that came out of East LA, my own town, and they had an art group that was called, named Asco. Okay, I uh, worked briefly in a couple of shows with a couple of them, Diane Gamboa, uh, Gronk, uh, both of them became and probably still are a great big names, heavyweights in the art world. Uh, I say maybe are because I'm not in the art world like I used to be. So I don't know who all the artists are that you're supposed to know, <laughs> according to the gallery scene, right? I don't know who it is I'm supposed to know. But at any rate, <clears throat> it's a bit of an homage back to the group Asco. And they based their name of their group partly on what I'm basing the name of this uh, multimedia work on. Also, Asco means nausea or to have nausea or to be nauseated. That feeling, right? That feeling is Asco. And that's that just jumped out at me when I was finished with this work. And I said, aha, that's what this is. So there's the title. Okay, final uh, piece I want to show you. But before I do that, last video we were together, um, I showed you these um, containers, these uh, carrying cases, slips, covers, if you will, uh, for the artwork, for the prints. And I mentioned if you're an artist out there, uh, I recommend something like this for your work. Um, I went and found the label here. So this is uh, the brand. I don't know. Maybe there are comparative brands, but I'm happy with this one. Uh, look for this. And what's it got going for it? Um, uh, Acid-free, archival-safe, PVC-free. Heck, I collect baseball cards. You want your best baseball memorabilia to be in these as well. Those of you, my fellow baseball card collectors, you can put large pieces or these come in different sizes and you can put your memorabilia in here and it will keep it acid free and archival for just about supposedly forever at least your lifetime that's what they're saying uh, what else is about it um crystal clear polyglass polypropylene material probably don't get your nose too close to it and breathe it <laughs> all right so acid free uh, and so there you go. You want that. Okay. You don't have to buy this brand, but you want something like that. That's acid free because paper deteriorates over time and your oils of your fingers get on it. All museum curators, I don't care what they are storing. They will tell you to do that, you know, to put your archival things in archival holders. Finally, this piece I don't even have a title for it, and I'm not even sure I'm finished. I might be finished with this direction, though. Look at that. Kind of like that. This one, one of the beauties about uh, abstract work is often you can move it about, and that's what I do. And I check it out, and I try to see what I like about it and what uh, areas are just really sorely lacking suddenly. You might have worked for three days in this view. And until you went here, you never saw that horrible area, you know. So that's what I do. And I wanted to show you this because it's in progress. So here's the work in progress. This is 2018 now going into 2019 because I'm still kind of playing around with it. So this is one of those mono prints from long ago. Uh, reworked it through 2018 and I'm still not 100% satisfied. We'll see what I do with that piece. Just thought I would show you a bit more of the artist's mente and what's going on in there. All right, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Netchuk Arts, subscribe, like, peace.